It begins with a heist. First a meal, a simple, scrumptious delicacy. Then a glaive, a weapon to open the way to greater treasures and greater perils. A heist to break into a hive of dark roots. The baleful glow of red crystals revealing a maze of pitch black decay. Within which lies otherworldly apparitions, spirits of silence, and a quest to rid the world of an evil that looks below, a fiend of magical prowess down deep in the dark. Greetings and welcome to our first showcase for the Mon Tomorrow in Modern Madness 2023. And today we'll begin with the Terror of Talmur by Team Kormagazi Gaguti. Composed of Judaeus, Kalantar, Lucifer, and two alone. A unique quest and adventure mod that'll take you to a new mountainous location in the Malagama region, with a harrowing dungeon delve beneath. It all begins in Wolverine Hall, at Dirty Muriel's Corner Club, where the mysterious Dero Thrill has a series of quests for you to do. A series of hikes to steal an assortment of magical items from the Tavani Lords. A simple meal, an amulet, a glaive, a series of tasks to test your sneaking skills, and each a hint for what to expect next. For these heists are only the first leg of your journey, for the real quest is to break into a new Tavani Tower that has appeared in the Malagama region, one guarded by strange magics. You'll need to travel deep into the fiery ash of the Malagama region, where you'll find a glorious sight of viticality, a path up a foreboding mountain, going over pools and streams of lava, past towers of menacing red glowing crystals, until you come to a dark Tawani tower, a tangle of roots and mushrooms of a sickly color, growing out of the volcanic ash. To gain access, you'll need to wave your storm glade, and wait for the roots to part to give you entrance into this dark realm. And now, before we dive into the dark depths of Talmir, I do just want to take a moment to appreciate the vista of viticality from this scenic location. You can see Kalanta's handiwork here, and at this mountain is a wonderful addition to the rocky landscape of the Magamur, and it pairs just especially well with Kalanta's Mountain of Fear which you can see here, just off in the distance. But at going inside, the Tower of Talmir is one shrouded in darkness, a maze of rooted corridors and chambers for you to make your way through, with twists and turns and sudden drops, the suffocating darkness closing never in, drowning out the light. Battles lurk in this shadowy realm, creepy crawlies and ghastly apparitions, Things that'll sap your blood and leak your magic, range attacks from afar and deadly stabs in the dark. Suffice to say, uh, you'll want to bring some torches, some mage light spells, and some night eye potions to help you see through the pitch black of Talmir. And a few silent spells, maybe just uh, to repel the magical barrage of these deadly apparitions. Through this maze of roots, eventually, you'll piece together a story, one left in notes, of some attempt at achieving magical immortality, and with luck, you'll find your way underneath the tower, to great cavernous grottoes, a path of scenic verticality, with waterfalls and steaming hot baths, of glowing fungi and more of those mysterious red crystals. A beautiful scene of atmospheric delights, this chamber of volcanic vents and ashen mushrooms will lead you into a realm of crystals and quartz, where at last uh, you'll face the boss of Talmir, a forgotten daughter of divine fear, gone mad with power. Uh, now, I won't be showing off too much of the boss fight here, but uh, suffice to say, you should come prepared. Fear is a master of magic, and her attacks will be numerous and endless teleporting you to a realm of storm with an endless barrage of spells. And your only hope of defeating her is by using the spell silence and at getting your attacks in while she can't cast. And either way, it is still going to be a difficult fight, and uh, you'll need lots of equipment to survive. But uh, in the end, after a short quest, you'll get Tomir to use as your own player home. 
A sinister looking abode, to be sure, but uh, one not quite as dark as it was before. With bedrooms, grand halls, a kitchen, display chambers, and more. Uh, though it is maybe just a wee bit confusing to use as a player at home. Uh, I mean, the layout here is just, is, uh, well, you know, kind of maze like. Uh, even for the top army. I just, I kept getting turned around uh, even without the shroud of darkness. Uh, that said, uh, there's certainly plenty of space here, and plenty of room to add your own furnishings, uh, you know, if you have a furniture model stall. And overall, uh, this is a just, uh, this is a really unique take on this year's Madness themes, at uh, which if you missed it were schools of magic and decay and rebirth. The usage of silence and the connection to Divide Fear's clones is just, you know, an interesting mix on these two themes. And uh, the team has done just an excellent job of creating a unique dungeon delving adventure. But uh, that's, uh, that's about all there is to see here, so, as always, I've been your host, Rick Elf Guy. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll, uh, see you all next time.